find in terms of n an expression for the nth term of the sequence. So let's have a look. So what can we say first of all? So it goes up in 5, yeah? 4 out 5 is 9, 9 out 5 is 14, so we're going up in 5s. So if it goes up in 5s, that means the pattern will contain a 5n. It'll contain a 5n if it's going up in 5s. Now, let's try it. Let's try it for the first term. So this here is n is equal to 1 is here. That's my first term. That's my second term and that's my third term. Oops. That's my third term. And that one here is my Four. fifth term, yeah? Oh. Just I've missed out the second and fourth number in or space. Now if I put one into here, what's five times by one? Five. 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 But what should I really get? Mm. Four. How do I get four? What do we do? Five. Minus one. Minus one. That's my adjustment. Because five minus one will give us the four that we actually need to get. So the question says write an expression. An expression has no equal sign in it, so we write it literally as that. 5n minus 1. Here are the first five terms of a different sequence. 2, 2, 0, minus 4, minus 10. An expression for the nth term of this sequence is that. Write down in terms of an expression for the nth term of a sequence whose first five terms are this. What do we realize about the pattern? The bottom one is double of the top one. So what will happen to the rule? We will just double the rule. So it'll be two lots of 3n minus n squared. Just leave it out. Done.